Hello, welcome to Garden Masterclass on our YouTube channel. My name is Annie Guilfoyle and together with Noel Kingsbury, we run the Garden Masterclass program. This has been running for about four years. It's an educational program and ordinarily we run events all over the British Isles and mainland Europe um, in gardens and nurseries. But this year, of course, uh, we've had to do a lot of work online. And here we are in the beautiful garden of Derry Watkins, very close to Bath. Um, and the reason we're filming here today is uh, it's an unusual circumstance because Noel Kingsbury and myself are in the same country at the same time. And we thought this would be a really good opportunity to tell you about ourselves and what we do. So I'm going to hand over to Noel in a little while, but just so that you know a little bit more about us. I'm a garden designer. I live in West Sussex. I teach at Great Dixter, a very well-known, wonderful garden in East Sussex and at West Dean. And for 18 years, I was the garden design or the director of KLC uh, School of Design. Since 2016, myself and Noel Kingsbury have been running Garden Masterclass. These are live educational events set in the most beautiful gardens, nurseries and other venues all over the British Isles and into mainland Europe. Our audience are generally from a professional capacity of garden designers, landscape architects and very keen garden owners. And we also produce pay to view webinars which are recorded and you'll find those on our Vimeo channel and if you just look up for Garden Masterclass uh, you'll find them there. Hello, my name is Noel Kingsbury and I write about plants and gardens for books and magazines. I've also done a lot of uh, research over the years, particularly into the performance, the long-term performance of garden plants. I've got a background though in adult education and so I've always been really interested in how we communicate what we find out about plants uh, to people involved in gardening and landscape. At the beginning of 2020 we had well over 30 workshops organised in Britain, Ireland, the Netherlands and one in France and one in Germany. And of course, with the COVID crisis, we had to cancel or reschedule the lot. So thinking on our feet, uh, we decided to do a five times a week broadcast for the global garden community. We did that for two months. And since then, we've been doing it just once a week, every Thursday evening. All of those recordings then go onto our YouTube channel. Uh, and we've got many hours of great garden viewing. So now we're setting up Friends of Garden Masterclass. Members will have discounts to our webinars and to the recorded webinars, uh, privileged invitations to special events. Uh, it will also give free access to all of our recorded material. So if you would like to see the rest of this video, then please subscribe and we'll be very glad to meet you. Mr. Kingsbury. Thank you, well, Annie. Thank welcome, you. welcome. Kicking off the, our, our new occasional series of Desert Island Gardens, the gardens you would think about if you were stuck on a desert island. So tonight we're doing Desert Island Gardens. I've come up with my list of five and very aware that I've got two in Wales, two in Germany and one in France. So none in England. Um, gardens are, of course, heavily weighted in our minds with uh, memory, the, the emotional content of our memories. And we, we inevitably, that inevitably does colour our perceptions and our memories of gardens. A surprising number of people will list this as their favourite garden. Uh, it is a pretty unique place. It's pretty much on the England-Wales border and most of its garden is actually a series of fairly narrow terraces. Uh, so it's a, it's a very unusual format. Another Welsh garden, um, Dufferin Venant, uh, with this rather extraordinary climate, uh, often very blowy, very windy, but mild winters, cool summers, a lot of rain. Uh, Dufferin Venant is more kind of uh, much, much more engaged with the local scenery, which is one of the reasons why I, I do particularly love it. Uh, lovely dense planting. I love this kind of thing. It's really sort of well integrated, completely ground covering planting. No, who would have had you to be such an old romantic? Your choices. Ah, I, I didn't have you down as such an old romantic. Okay, now to a very, very different garden. Uh, Sichtungsgarten, Hermannshof, uh, Weinheim in Germany. So Hermannshof is um, 
a combination really of a whole series of different planting habitats which range from the very garden-esque such as this uh, across to uh, habitat planting and, and Cassian Schmidt is very much more interested in the in the habitat planting. But Schwetzingen is very much a philosophical garden. Um, the lecturer Karl Theodor was uh, an um, an intellectual of the Enlightenment. You know, Voltaire would pop in every now and again, usually unannounced. That must have been pretty terrifying, Voltaire arriving on you without any announcement. Schwetzingen is full of um, all sorts of uh, extraordinary um, architectural and um, plant, um, I don't know, features. And what I suppose the thing I like about these Baroque gardens is something I find very peaceful about them. Um, these endless alleys where you crunch over gravel and you've, you've got uh, sort of hedging running along. There's somehow their predictability gives them a kind of, um, well, at least it makes me feel quite sort of calm and peaceful. Um, or maybe they're just like an antidote. You know, if you spend a day going around Hermannshof, uh, somewhere like, Schwetzingen is the most wonderful antidote because uh, yeah. it's so completely different. It also kind of frees your makes the sort of sorbet course, or in a way. <laughs> yeah. Grange is pretty remote. You drive up and up and up. Nothing here is conventional. Everything they do is just given this wonderfully imaginative twist. This is the most extensive kind of William Robinsonian flowering meadow I've, uh, I've, I've come across. Le Jardin de Bergigrange, which I think really is my favourite garden in the world.